I feel that one. I feel that one. That one hurts. Bear gang till I die, ho. Swooped up the homies and we about to start a side show. All right, what is this? One of the reasons I love the stock market is because... It really gets down to the core of what I think life is all about. Making as much money as humanly possible with complete disregard to everything else. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Listen, what I was said about the hurricane... Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's... Hold on, okay. There's no, no it, it's not disregard to everything else, okay? <sighs> Socrates disses the Tesla short seller. Now, while I'm sure philosophers might eventually be able to come up with a reason why this could be bad, one reason why it's good is because it rewards business models that work, punishes ones that fail, and encourages competition within an industry, which often leads itself to innovation in getting customers better products. As an example, take a look at the craft beverage industry. It used Nestle to just be big companies like Nestle selling tap water at a huge markup, but now we have Belle Delphine. So... <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good okay i'll give him that i'll give him that one while the stock market either goes up or it goes down the ways you can lose money on it are nearly endless so you notice that different types of people like to trade in different ways depending on how they are in real life First of all, we of course have the investor. This is your classic older guy who knows a thing or two about the stock market, like literally one or two things. And those two things are time in the market beats timing the market and dollar cost averaging. If they had to get a tattoo, it would say buy the dip, but they would never. Time in the market will always beat timing the market, guys. So dollar cost averaging is lowering the average cost. This dude watches my stream, I swear to God. Really? And they made him balding? Bro, I'm suing this dude. <laughs> I'm copy striking this one. Okay, first of all, let me explain something real quick. All right. Time in the market does beat time in the market. First of all, dollar cost averaging is smart and buying the dip. God damn it. Do that because tattoos are a sin. Next, we have the boys of Wall Street bets. These are your Zoomer and millennial DGENs looking to get rich or take physical delivery of 50,000 barrels of crude oil trying. They trade <laughs> almost exclusively options, which typically results in them making several times their original buy-in in a matter of days or straight up losing it all. They figured... Any, uh, any uh, uh, Activision uh, earnings play uh, holders in chat or blink holders? That they're only gambling with their future, so nothing to lose anyway. Oh. <laughs> Let me go back on that one. DGENs looking to get rich or take physical delivery of 50,000 barrels of crude oil trying. They trade almost exclusively options, which typically results in them making several times their original buy-in in a matter of days, or straight up losing it all. They figure that they're only gambling with their future, so nothing to lose anyway. This man just personally attacked 90% of this chat. Oh, Jesus. Their trading strategy consists of don't fuck with the mouse and getting to a stock after it's already gone up 20% in the last three. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Just go to the Lost Channel in Discord. Oh, no. Purple Gang, Kodak, DraftKings, and Silver. It's literally our entire Lost Channel. Oh, no. Do you think he watches our channel and made this? 
three days. Another subset of options traders is Theta Gang, a community based around selling the contracts to the previous group. Their profits are consistent, but low enough that no one really cares. Their primary gains being the feeling of intellectual superiority when using terms like Iron Condor, Calendar Spread, IV Crush, and Gamma Hedging. Wait, isn't this... Hitch? Uh, FIRE. This stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. Okay. It should be FIFU. FIRE is bullshit. Okay? Oh, that was short Streamlabs. Okay. FIFU, not FIRE. FIFU. This is basically living really frugally, doing yoga, and making YouTube minimalism videos while investing everything else into aggressive stock ETF, working up to a couple million dollars by the age of 40, slapping it all into a high-yield portfolio, and retiring off dividends and coupon payments. It's basically an optimized DIY pension. This is the polar opposite of Wall Street bets because anyone who does this has to have an income. Next, we have your silver bugs and gold bugs. These are the Bob, if you're watching, turn it off. Guys looking to keep their money safe. So safe that once some guy in Africa digs it out of the earth and sends it over, they dig a hole in their backyard and put it right back in. This investor is most often associated with the prepper community, who are anticipating the coming apocalypse and have their shotgun shells and seed collections ready to go in their underground bunker. Not all gold bugs are this extreme, however, as my dad would simply describe himself as waiting for the great undoing of the world financial system and the collapse of American empire. Very similar to your gold bugs, you have the people who are into cryptocurrency. These guys are similar in disposition, but generally- Oh, here we go, here we go. All my crypto guys are about to go, actually! younger and less doomer. They don't keep gold or silver in a vault in their basement because that's where they live, kept warm by enough GPUs to melt Greenland. They're absolutely loaded, but never buy anything because if they sold Bitcoin for US dollars, that would imply Bitcoin isn't a real currency. Penny stock- <laughs> That's the argument I always make. But stocking for Bitcoin is the future! Gang till I die. Oh, we got him! the clothes to the bear gang. Crypto is for children. Can I get any truths in chat? Got him! But Stucky, crypto, I have everything in crypto, but you have, nobody's gonna take your crypto, you have to turn it into money in order to buy things. Oh, wow. Here we go. Speculators. If options trading is the casino, then penny stocks are the scratch-offs. If there's the wolves of Wall Street, these are the sheep. And you might be thinking, what? Where are my TLSS holders in here? No, I'm not a sheep. But like, bro, it, it's in the movie. Like, literally, that's what the movie's about. If someone posted a thread on Aerotine with a few rocket emojis, you know you'd put down 3K in an instant. Quants. These are the MIT graduates with three PhDs who work with 20 other math geniuses on a specific machine learning algorithm in order to front run the quartz crystal in the Chicago Mercantile Exchange's internal 24-hour clock by running a fiber optic cable that's 14 feet shorter than the closest competitor, thereby reducing the distance light has to travel so we can arbitrage a quarter of a cent profit per bushel on soybean futures. He makes 500k a year, but secretly dreams of owning an acreage and holding a soybean in the flesh. The security analysts. These guys are the very detail-oriented investors who are always out to find a good deal on an undervalued stock. Their biggest weakness is not being able to bring themselves to buy Apple, even though it's outperformed their entire portfolio for the past 10 years. I feel that one. I feel that one. That one hurts. <laughs> I just did a I just did a whole presentation on why Apple's a great buy. Of course we can't forget last but not least Wall Street. This is your investment banks, hedge funds and money managers. Big money, smart money, whatever you want to call it. Now, what most people think Wall Street does is this. Hmm, looks like Daryl from New Hampshire just bought 15k worth of Delta Airlines. Hmm. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> But what they actually do is this. Bring, 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 bring. Hi, this is JP Morgan Client Services. Hi, 
Could I buy $15,000 of Delta Airlines? Yeah, sure. There's a $5 service fee. Well, that's fine. Okay, it's done. Thank you. <sighs> Beep boop. Hello? Hey, Lehman. Yeah? Want to write one too many zeros on a piece of paper? Sounds fucking lit, bro. Good shit. Is it bad that we all get that joke and got all the jokes? 